it is useful with integration to know some tricks of stuff that we already know how to do. Uh, because we've met differentiation, we know how to get from y is equal to to dy by dx is equal to. So, for example, if I was using the chain rule to differentiate y is equal to 3x plus 1 to the 4, then dy by dx, the derivative of what's inside comes outside, the 4 comes down to the front, and then I still have a 3x plus 1, and I take 1 off the power. So we have 12 3x plus 1 cubed. Okay? So it may well be that we could use this knowledge in order to integrate certain functions. So if I was going to integrate something like 3x plus 1 cubed, then what I would want to think about is that 3x plus 1 cubed will integrate to something that looks like 3x plus 1 to the 4. It's just there's going to be this number out the front, okay, that I don't yet know. So, if I work backwards, if I look at 3x plus 1 to the 4 and then differentiate it, which I've just done there, then I get 12 lots of 3x plus 1 cubed. But I don't want 12 lots of 3x plus 1 cubed, I only want 1 lot of 3x plus 1 cubed. So that would mean that if I divide by 12, then this will differentiate to this, and hence this will integrate to this. So the integral of 3x plus 1 cubed dx is actually 1 12th 3x plus 1 to the 4 plus your constant. Okay? So, in the next video, we're going to look at some examples of this, just to hone the technique so that you can see kind of how it works in general.